Hi everyone, Mossimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a really cool overview I'm gonna do. And that's on Zoho Sales IQ. So live chat, website tracking, and chatbot. So I haven't made a video like this yet where it goes through the whole app. I'm basically gonna try to break it down and make it into sort of a crash course on setting up the app, setting up a live chat, installing it on your website, and setting up a bot. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And uh, turn on your notification if you subscribe. Uh, that'll let you know when I bring out new videos. We're bringing out one a week. Enjoy the video. Okay, so let's get into it. This is Zoho Sales IQ. For those of you that don't know, Sales IQ is a multifaceted app. It's really, really neat. Basically does website tracking. So when people land on your website, it'll track where they go, how they click, how often they click, when they click. It also does live chat. So you can have a little pop-up in the bottom right or wherever you want it really of your website and they can speak with a human operator. It also has a bot functionality, which is fairly new and I have a more specific video on that. I'll go over it at a high level today. So it does a lot. And if I were to say comparably, uh, it, it's probably most close or closest to Pardot, Salesforce product, it's very similar. So when you first log in, you're gonna see something like this. Now, the very first time you log in, you might have like a pop-up with some stuff. Just exit all of that, get to this page. So I'm gonna walk through everything you have to do. And then I'm gonna come back to this page and explain why it's relevant. So I'm gonna hit the settings icon up here. That's where I'm gonna start. So you'll see there's a bunch of settings back here that you're gonna to need to turn on. So number one, start with the easy stuff. Go to my profile, make sure this is all good. You can customize the sounds. The reason why sounds is relevant is when someone launches a live chat with you, it'll actually ring. So feel free to customize the sounds, put an image of yourself if you don't already have one. Company profile, similarly, just make sure this is all good. Make sure the language is in the correct one, all of that. Operators. So these are people that can use live chat. So obviously if you're a Zoho One customer, or just a Zoho CRM Plus, or even just a Sales IQ customer, you don't have to allow everyone to be an operator in the company, right? So an operator is Zoho's term for someone who can answer a live chat, okay? So make sure everyone's here. If they're not, go ahead and hit add. In this case, it's gonna bring me to the Zoho One panel. If you're a Zoho One user, this will be your experience. And it'll walk you through adding the user, what role they have. And if you're not a Zoho One customer, when you hit add, it'll just pop up, say, what's their email, what's what's their role? And you'll go through it like that. So this is fairly straightforward. Now we start getting into some of the more detailed stuff. So departments, it's gonna automatically give you a department. Feel free to add more. Why departments are relevant is when you launch a live chat, first off, you can assign certain departments and certain operators to live chats. So you may, and you'll see in a minute, we may make a live chat for support and you may want to assign the support department to that. Let's say you have 20 users in your sales IQ, five of them are support. You don't want the other 15 salespeople to have it ringing in their ear when a live chat's going off, right? So you want to be able to department or to add people to a department and then say this department can answer this chat. There is also a setting when you make a chat where you can say, allow the end user to choose the department. So they may launch a chat and then it says, who do you want to talk to? Sales or support or whatnot. And so these departments are relevant. I would say go through here. You just simply hit add. You put the name of the department, the description, if it's public, so can people see it in the chat window or if it's private, and then you can add the operators, right? And then you create department. So it's fairly straightforward, but I'd say spend some time thinking about this. I mean, just so you know, you can always come back and make more and you can add many people to a department. So the common ones I see is sales, support, accounting, uh, billing, things like that. And then you add one, two, five, whatever people into that department, which are operators. These two I'm going to leave for now. And so now we're going to go over to brands. Brands is probably the first big step you have to do in this system. So. If we hit brands, I'm going to create a brand new one. And you can see here already what the brand does. So the brand allows you to, it's kind of the overarching spot for your live chat, your bot, etc. So you need to create a brand per live chat. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add. 
and I'm gonna say this brand is, in our case, I would put like Blue Root website. You could put ABC website. I'm gonna say ABC website. Now you could do this, right? If you're gonna be very specific on the department and the live chat that can be a part of this, that's up to you. I'm gonna make it more general for this video. I'm gonna hit create. Now you have to describe it. I mean, I'll just put uh, main website for business. Now, in this case, we only have one department. You can actually choose right away, right here, what departments are allowed to use this brand or work with this brand, right? And then basically use the resources that are assigned to this department. So you can see here in this little question mark, you'll see in a minute what that means. So we'll hit done. Okay, so now we've created a brand. Feel free to add a photo. And now you can see here, there's a few things that pop up. And so installation, this is how you get this brand or live chat on your website. For example, if you were to hit website here, it gives you a few different ways. This is the main way, right? You just, this is basically like an iframe. You can embed this JavaScript and it tells you how to do it here. Or they have very specific tutorials for each of these sites and more, like a lot of sites, right? So I'm not gonna go through that in this video, but a lot of them are very easy to do. So this is how you get it on your site. There's also some other important things. For mobile, it's a very similar method. It's a bit more complicated. You got to install the SDK, initialize the SDK. I mean, if you have your own mobile app, this will all make sense to you. I'm not going to go through this in the video, but what I will say is you can embed this live chat in your mobile app. And so if people need help or they need sales advice or whatever, you can put it in your mobile app. So there's one for Android, iOS, and then the email signature is interesting too. Basically, you can put a little button in your email signature that someone can click on and it'll launch the live chat. So if you're not looking to have it in a website, but you are looking to have it in your email signature, this is an option. This is typically in addition to the website. I see people use this and you can see there's how to's on each of these main email programs. Now, the next piece and probably before you actually embed it on your website is you should go to the personalization. So the personalization is pretty straightforward. It walks you through basically how do you want your chat to look, right? And so you see, you have a few options and on the right, Zoho Sales IQ throughout the whole process has a really good way of like showing you what you're doing. So on the right is a preview of what your clients would see. And there's more options here. This is a popular one. Coin is probably the most popular one. So you can go through and choose. And this is basically what will be hovering on your website when someone lands. You can see, you can toggle this. So if you just want that little icon hovering, great. If you want this as well, and this is kind of neat. You can put a custom sticker. So I see people and the sticker is this. So you can make your own, like you could be yourself with thumbs up or I see people over the holidays put holiday symbols uh, or bags of money or a person on a headset. You can customize whatever you want. And the reason why it says online and offline, I'll show you in a little while. These chats can have times of day where you can help people. And so they have different photos. One is blue or green showing online, one is red or whatever showing off. So feel free to customize this. The button here, you also have this option where you can actually embed these instead. I typically see people doing the float. So now we go to appearance. This drills down even further. So you kind of have two options here. This is the new, more, I guess, modern one. There's the classic one. You can pick the color and you can also go to the wheel here and like get very specific. So you could put your like brand's colors in this, which is really neat. You could choose medium or large. So on the right, it shows you all of this. You can display the company logo or not, right? So it'll throw the logo here. You can display the operator profile. So the actual person connecting to the chat. So there's all kinds of options here. One thing I will mention is the upload custom CSS. This is handy if you're a web development team and you don't like the way this chat looks and you have a very specific way it has to look, you can upload your own CSS and completely change the way it looks. Zoho kind of gives you all the flexibility. This one is definitely I would recommend keeping this on if you're using Zoho Desk or you have articles in Zoho Sales IQ and articles are like how-to guides. I'd recommend having them in the chat. People can actually help themselves before they interact with you. And then this allows you to say how they're going to be shown. So this is up to you. You don't have to have it, but articles are a great way to provide self-help. And by the way, there's other options here. Right, so there's dark mode. They've got funny names for it. So I'll hit save. So now we've made our yellow chat language. You can choose your website's language and you can actually, there's a whole API for people that are a bit more intense with this, where you can actually change the language based on the visitor. And there's all kinds of custom stuff you can do. But for
for the average user, you usually just choose one language, one font. So then you're basically done your chat at this point. So now you've personalized it. You know how to install it. The flow controls are important as well. So you can see here when someone enters into the chat, it's going to show the operator. And then it's going to say, you can add what you ask of the person. So you could say name and email. So before they're launching the chat, you can actually force it to say name and email. And a great way to, uh, to test this is like this. So I always have this open. So you can go back here, oops, you can go to brand, go ABC website, installation, website, copy it, paste it, run. And so this will actually allow you to live try your, your chat. So you're gonna chat now. And so now it's asking for the name, right? So this is the flow control here. If I go back, it's asking for name. Now it's going to ask for my email, right? So, and now it's probably going to ring me. And so I'm going to, I'm going to stop this chat because it's just going to ring in my ear. I'll show the rest of that later, but this, so these flow controls are important. And so you can add more fields. It doesn't give you a ton of flexibility, but you could add the phone number as well. You could take some of these out. So you may not want to ask all that information. I would recommend it. And honestly, I've made some of them mandatory in our chats because it, it, we actually integrate it back into Zoho Desk so we can create a ticket. And if we don't have their name and email, it's really hard for us to follow up with them, right? And then you have some options on the style, right? I would say conversation is probably, that's like the back and forth like this, like kind of like WhatsApp or iMessage. You can also set the visitor waiting time, right? So this is basically when they launch it and ring your agents, how long are you gonna give your agents to answer? If they don't answer after 60 seconds, it sends you an email with the content. It basically like, it's like a voicemail. How long is it gonna ring for, right? And then there's some other settings here I'd recommend going through. There's a waiting message. So when they launch the chat with you, what do you want it to say? When the operator is busy, what do you want it to say? And this text here is what it currently says. So a lot of people don't even customize this, but you can. And uh, yeah, th there's some little things here. Enable operator ratings. So at the end of the chat, you can say, how did they do? And they can, they can choose sad, neutral, or happy. And then when they choose that, this text pops up, right? So as you're clicking through this, it kind of shows you all of that. So I'd recommend going through this, customizing this offline response. Profanity management is, is something you may want to look at too. You can basically blank out certain profanity words and you can upload your own profanity words. So now we've personalized it. We've set up a flow. We know how to install it. Configurations is the last piece. So emailing chat transcripts, I'd recommend keeping that on. It sends the client and your staff a transcript of the conversation. Allow people to share files, this is up to you. They can actually attach screenshots or images. So it depends on the type of business you're in. Remote access, I would say a majority of my clients don't use this, but it is an interesting tool where basically from the live chat, they can actually launch Zoho Assist, which is another app, and you can take control of their screen from the live chat. I'd say most don't use this, uh, but most do use this. And so in the live chat, you can actually connect to audio and screen sharing calls, which is a very popular feature. So the client can actually get on the uh, on a voice call with you. Channels here, you can turn off certain pieces in each channel. And then privacy, if you're in Europe, GDPR is important. If they're putting in a credit card, you could mask that. You can allow operators to unmask and yeah. so those are basically things depending on your company you want to go through so now we've created a brand we've created a live chat like i said follow this installation guide and put it on your website and now i'm going to show you kind of what the operator's life looks like right so i'm going to go back to uh here and so when someone launches a chat, right? So it's gonna start ringing. Right? You pick it up. This is what your staff is gonna see. So this is your staff. This is your client. So some neat things here. You can see as I'm typing, 
it's showing that I'm typing to the client. Pretty standard. Goes to the client. Same thing back, right? And so now what this software gives you is a ton of stuff at your fingertips. Number one, it shows you some information about them, where they are. You can see you can start a voice call. You can create a voice clip. It's got, if you do have articles and knowledge base items, it's down here. You can use canned replies. So you can load these up here and you can use the, the percentage sign to load them up. I'll show you how to do that. So if you go like this, for example, So what I just did is I added greeting, right? So now if I just hit backslash greeting, it'll say, hi, Massimo, what can I help you with? Right? So I'd encourage you to make all of these canned replies. It makes it a lot easier on your agents, right? You can attach photos here. I'll show you near the end of this video how to integrate this all back down into the CRM and Zoho desk. But this is basically the interaction. And the neat thing is you can, as an operator, have 10 chats open at once or 100, right? And so it allows you to kind of scale your support, which is really, really neat. Okay, so I'm gonna close this down now. And when you're done with the chat as an agent, you can just hit close immediately. It does a little door shut. You can choose to email the chat script, chat transcript, or just close this chat. So now there's no more chats, right? The other neat thing that'll happen is it'll actually show this person. When it shows this person, you now know where they are, who they are, et cetera. So this is like the, the website tracking. And it's definitely very interesting where with this website tracking, you can actually click on the person and see a bunch of info about them, where they are, what type of computer they're on, IP address, what website they landed on. So this allows you to start building up some reports and all of that data is held in the report section. It'll start showing all the visitors, where they've come from. And so I'm not gonna get too much into that today. You can dig into reports on your own, but it's definitely a very handy feature. And the neat thing about this is you can actually click on this person and initiate a chat, right? So you can actually tell it to start a proactive chat. So you can be looking at all the people on your website and tell it to start a chat. Now, if you're wondering what these rings are and what they do, the rings by default are by time spent. So the outer ring, they just landed. Inner ring, you can see here, greater than one minute, right? And, and it goes further and further. So the closer it gets in there, it's like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So in theory, if, you, if someone gets here, they've been on your website for a while. Now you don't have to do that. You could say, well, you could sort it by if they've been here before or last activity time, so, right? Or you can make a custom one. And so this is really powerful here where you could say the current page title is my homepage. If they're on the homepage, I want them in ring one. If they're on the pricing page, and you can do this here, right? So on ring four, homepage. Ring three, pricing page. Ring two, demo page. Ring one, contact us page, right? And so you can get a bit specific if you're doing proactive chat. So it's definitely really, really cool. Now going further into, so now we've set up our website, we put it on our website. It does integrate with these platforms as well. They're pretty straightforward to integrate. They've got really good tutorials on how to do it. I'm not gonna go through it in this video. Maybe I'll make separate ones on it. They're bringing out all kinds of instant messaging integrations, which is really, really neat. So basically someone can message you on Telegram or Instagram or WhatsApp, and it'll actually come in as a live chat here. And then when you live chat back to them, it goes into WhatsApp. So in theory, your agents can all operate from one place. What I'm gonna talk about here is this section and then this section to finish off. Cause my Zobot section, I have a separate video. We'll link it here that goes into that quite a bit. Now that you have it on your website, you might wanna get a bit more advanced with it. And what I mean by that is like, for example, if I hit triggers here, you can see engage the right set of visitors hitting your website by configuring triggers based on their business needs. So if I hit add and I choose the website, you can basically tell it to pop up like have the website pop up without a human doing it when some criteria is met, right? So you could say the current page title is home, or you could do like current page URL is blueroot.ca backslash home, right? Next. And you can stack those by the way, as you, as you can see here, or, and, etc. right? Next. When they land on my website and it's on the home page or accesses any page of my site or performs a custom action or leaves my site. So you can, 
I would say lands or access is the common one. And then you can see here, so you can invoke custom code. I'm not gonna go through that today. You're, you're probably gonna do this, send chat invite. And so you're gonna put an operator, Jim Smith. You're gonna say how long? 10 seconds, five seconds, whatever you want. And then what's he gonna say? And so this really ups your engagement with people because for example, just to think of the possibilities, someone is browsing your site, doing whatever, homepage, about us page, pricing page, boom chat hey see so you're on our pricing page love to give you a show so you can get very specific with your reach outs so i'd encourage you to try that triggers is very very powerful from an roi perspective it's worked really really well for us visitor routing another advanced feature this one i'm not going to go as much into it's not as heavily used but basically if a website visitor launches your chat and you have someone internally that deals with people in portugal you can tell it to go to the portuguese guy it's a similar model here you hit add you say the website, you say refer is google.com.portugal, or you say the search engine is this, or the landing page is that, and then you just basically say who it goes to. So that's where you would use that. Chat routing, similar. Lead scoring is one I'm gonna spend a few minutes on. So they give you a bunch out of box, use them, don't use them, it's up to you. But essentially what you can do, so I showed you those chat pop-ups, right? The triggers. You can say, well, give people five points when they land on home and 10 points when they land on pricing and 20 points when they land here. At 50 points, launch a chat. I don't care where they are. They've been on our site for a while. That's what this is. And you can see how it works. It's, it's an if then thing. So if this and that, add this, subtract that right? So you can see all the examples, very point and squeeze, but it's really good. And for marketing heavy companies, this is a very popular feature. Company scoring. Basically, if companies visiting your website match the condition and criteria, then the points will be added and deducted from their overall score. So this is, this is a feature that I've never seen a client use. And it's not because it's not good. It's just, it's a fairly intensive, you need a data aggregation tool. So basically Mossmo lands on your site, you find out he's from Blue Root, you know other people from Blue Root are landing on your site, give Blue Root a score. It's something I'd say the 1% of Zoho users use. So I'm not gonna go over it, but it's definitely a handy feature and feel free to join my office hours if you wanna know more about that. And then the reports are just, sending reports if your team's like oh we missed five chats i want to report every morning that says the people i miss that's what you can set up here so this whole section i would say triggers and visitor routing and chats like triggers and lead scoring are the two biggest heavily used ones visitor and chat routing you may have a a use case for that block ip you can stop people from coming to your site if if you've had someone abusing it from a certain ip chat monitor this is kind of what you think it's a supervisor thing so basically you can say, okay, when all the chats are open, because by default, you won't see Jenna's chats, your colleague, but you can say, no, I want to be able to barge or monitor all chats. So this is more of a supervisor thing. And then I'm going to go to the integrations. So if you're in the Zoho One suite, I would definitely recommend integrating with the CRM and integrating with Desk. Those are the two big ones I see all the time. They have all kinds of other ones I'm not gonna go through today. The CRM is for if you're building a bot that's more sales focused, lead lands on your site, hey, how can I help you? You launch a chat, etc. With the CRM integration, it's fairly point and squeeze. So you connect it to your account. It's going to say, I authorize. You're going to go here. Where do you want them to go? Do you use the lead module or only the contact module? Who do you want to go? Miss, attended, access. Maybe you say only the missed chats I want to come in. Usually it's all three. Do you want it to assign a task in the CRM? When do you want it due? So there's all kinds of settings I would say you should do here, but definitely turn on the CRM. Now, if you're using this as more of a support chat and you want to be able to create a ticket to follow up with via email later, then I would say use this one. Very similar setup, authorize, which desk, which chats do you want it to go into? And then department mapping is important. So if it's this chat, does it go to your sales department in desk or your billing department in desk? And so this one, the use case would be someone lands on your site and says, hey, my computer's broken. Your live chat person says, okay, let's have a call. Okay, let me try to debug this. Try to, okay, you know what? It's really broken. I got to create a ticket. So your live chat people can hit a button in the chat, as you saw on the right-hand side, it had CRM and desk, create a ticket. It now goes into desk. Your support person gets assigned it, sees the whole conversation. Since you force them to put in their email in the chat, they can respond via email. So that's what this use case would be for. The last ones are, are fairly advanced features I'm not gonna cover today. So, I mean, what I've shown you today, just to reiterate, is setting up your profile, 
make sure to set up a brand, set up some email templates. Feel free to set these up, but brands is the most important. Then in the brands, customize the look and feel. Then customize your triggers, when you want it to pop, who you want it to pop to, how long you want the chat to pop up after. Integrate it back with your CRM and Zoho Desk to make sure that everything's connected and then put it on your site and hope that people land there. And when they do, live chat with them, okay? I appreciate the time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please put any detail you have about this in the, in the comments or join my office hours. I'd love to hear about it. This is a very popular app, very easy to use app and super, super popular and powerful. Like we personally put it on our website and customer service and sales just really loved it. Hope you enjoyed the video.